Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick update video regarding the massive IT outage that has hit Windows PCs worldwide that I posted on earlier today. And just a quick recap, um, because that video will be left down below and in the description. Uh, the security company CrowdStrike had confirmed the massive Windows outage is due to its new census update that is causing a boot loop and crash to a blue screen of death with the error message CS agent dot sys page fault in non-paged area. Now I did also post a workaround that is apparently working for a lot of users in that video so go check that out if you'd like more info. Now just a quick update as mentioned to let you know that we have officially heard from the CEO of, of uh, CrowdStrike and he has this to say a couple of hours ago CrowdStrike is actively working with customers impacted by a defect found in a single content update for Windows hosts. Mac and Linux hosts are not impacted. This is not a security incident or cyber attack. The issue has been identified, isolated, and a fix has been deployed. We refer customers to the support portal for the latest updates and will continue to provide complete and continuous updates on our website. We further recommend organizations ensure they're communicating with CrowdStrike representatives through official channels. Our team is fully mobilized to ensure the security and stability of CrowdStrike customers. So, the CEO has said the issue has been isolated and a fix has been deployed. So that's the good news. So this issue should be resolving itself sooner than later. Now, for whatever reason, um, the fix does not work. There are two other workarounds you can try that have, have been made available. As mentioned, I posted the first one earlier today. And the second thing you can try to do, and by the way, just on a side note, uh, this outage is mainly affecting organizations and enterprises and not your average home user. So that would include, as mentioned earlier today, TV channels, airlines, and would also include banks. So it's mainly these fixes are for IT admins in those enterprises. So if you are an average home user, I don't think you've got anything to be concerned about. So the second thing you can try is head over to Command Prompt in Recovery Options and change the name of the CrowdStrike folder to CrowdStrike the unders underscore old and then the, lo the last and third thing you can try as a workaround is you can edit the Windows registry and prevent agent.sys from loading so you would boot your Windows PC into safe mode or Windows recovery environment once again and then um, you would get to Windows registry and edit the following key to disable the CS agent.sys from loading so I'll leave um, these instructions down below for quick access and reference now even above that um, just to let you know that Microsoft has also said that Azure has been affected along with Microsoft 365 apps. And if we head over to that announcement by Microsoft, um, yeah, they say that we have received reports of successful recovery from some customers attempting mul multiple virtual machine restart operations on affected virtual machines. And they mention here that customers can attempt to do so as follows. And yeah, they say that the feedback from customers is that several reboots, as many as 15 have been reported, may be required, but overall feedback is that reboots are an effective troubleshooting step at this stage. So that's officially from Microsoft. So there we have a couple of workarounds. As mentioned, three workarounds provided. And if you are affected um, regarding Azure, then try um, rebooting 15 as many as 15 times according to Microsoft. So there we have it. Just wanted to put us all on the same page if you wanted to just a quick update or if you had been affected. And obviously, if anything um, major moves in any direction regarding this, I'll try and keep you guys posted ASAP. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.